Hello YouTube and welcome to your fourth Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about getting user input from the console. So let's go ahead and delete what we have right here. And now let's go ahead and create a variable. So we'll make a string and we'll call it username. And let's not set it equal to anything yet. So now let's go ahead and ask the user for their name. So we'll do console.writeline. What is your name? And now what we need to do is we need to let them type in their name. So what we can do is we can set username equal to console.readline. So console.readline is a function and what I mean by a function is that it will return a value so whenever we call readline it's going to give a value back to us so username is going to be equal to whatever this gives back to us so if the user types in some their name and then presses enter the console.readline function right here is going to take what they typed in and it's going to give it back to the, us and we can use it so we can set username equal to whatever is given back. Now this may be a little confusing at first, but you'll understand it more later on when we go into functions. So now what we can do is we can do console.writeline, hello, and then we can just go ahead and add their name there. So hello and username. So we go ahead and run this. You can see it'll say, what is your name? So if I just go ahead and type in Sam, you can see that it says, hello, Sam. And then we have another console.readline statement at the bottom. So it waits for me to press enter. And then the program exits. So we can also use this with other data types. So let's see, we'll type in a number. So please type an integer. And let's go ahead and create an integer value. So we'll do int num1 and we'll make int num2. So we'll set num1 equal to console.readline. So whatever they type in is going to be equal to um, num1 or num1 is going to be equal to whatever they type in. Now what we can do is we can set num2 equal to that. So num2 is going to be equal to console.readline. You can see here that we are getting an error. It says that we cannot convert type string to int. So what we need to do is we need to type convert dot to int32. Now we're going to be going uh, more in depth into this later on. But for now, just remember that whenever we want to get an integer from the console, we have to use convert.toint32, and then we put console.readline inside of that. Now, I know this might be confusing, um, and you don't know what it exactly does, but for now, just remember that you have to do that to allow to um, put an integer in there. So let's go ahead and undo that real quick. So we're going to do that again right here. So convert.toint32. And int32 is just a normal integer value. And then we'll go ahead and close that right there. So it's going to take whatever is given back to them from this console.read line, and that is going to be in the arguments of convert.toint32. It's going to take whatever is given back and convert it to an integer. So there's going to be a whole other tutor tutorial on converting numbers. So it's okay if you don't understand it now. So then we're going to type console.write line, and we'll say the two numbers added is we'll add a space here and then let's add num1 or we'll put this in parentheses num1 or num2 plus num1 okay so it's going to take this string right here and because we used order of operations is going to add these two first and then add it to this string. So the two numbers added is, and then it's going to do num1 plus num2, and then it's going to add that 
to the string. So let's go ahead and run this. And now your program will crash if you don't type in um, a valid integer type. But we're going to go into exception handling later on. So we can add 32 and 32. And you can see that it says the two numbers added is 64. Now let's go ahead and run this one more time and use some different numbers. So we can add 5 and 76. And you can see it says the two numbers added is 81. So go ahead, put this code in if you haven't, play around with it. Um, and then once you get used to this, um, even if you don't understand this conversion uh, or the concept of returning functions, um, that's perfectly fine. But once you're done with this, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.